Hey guys, so this is a video I want to do. I was, I was waiting for a long time to be able to do this one, but finally it's time. So I finally got my complete white setup unit done. Uh, that's the reason I actually custom this um, piece in the artistic. I wanted to match with the interface unit, which I uh, RGB mode molded with a uh, amplifier, RGB amplifier. The thing is, uh, until now, the CD-ROM unit didn't work for various reasons, which I'm going to explain later. But uh, I fixed two two CD-ROM units in the same day, so both of them are working now. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited about it. So let's push the run button. And like you can see, the CD is really robust and working really well, doing its its job. Let's see, of course, the ultimate benchmark is uh, loads of thunder, winds of thunder, loads of thunder. But yeah, works perfectly, very robust. So yeah, I'm just showing off on this part of the, of the video uh, how this is, is working very nicely. Um, I'm not going to be showing my, my Super Famicom, like, like th this is the finished version of the RGB modded Super Famicom, like you can see it's nice and clean. Uh, I took out the amplifier, just put caps in it, so the image is, is beautiful. Uh, so yeah, it's working perfectly now. Um, beautiful interface unit. So yeah, so let me turn the camera on myself for a second. Oh. Yeah. Sorry for the delay. So yeah, guys. So um, that's the deal right now. I'm very excited. I got this shit. I've been working, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a video next, uh, just showing a little bit how this unit is looking like inside. Now the reason I'm I mean I've, I wanted to work in interface unit for a long time. Um, I brought two more CD ROMs from France on my last visit. And uh, both of them didn't work. Um, actually, I have I have four CD units. Um, one of them I don't know where it is. Two of them is are fixed. And one of them the lens is busted. I'm pretty sure uh, because it has perfect wheels. And when I'm saying wheels, I'm talking about the the, the gears of the CD-ROM drive units, which is the most common failure of this uh, unit. And um, which brings me to my next fix. Uh, th this is my uh, modded uh, C Super CD ROM. The thing is, uh, after a day, uh, the CD died, and I think it's also a matter of um, in in this in this case, it's a matter of the lens. So I think the the, the drive unit. So this, I already ordered a part. So this is an upcoming video. Hopefully, I may, I'm going to be able to fix it because I really like it. But now I have this uh, unit working. It's beautiful, and I'm going to do a video next uh, showing how how it was done which is, is beautiful I'm glad about it. so just some pickups I did lately um, just quick quick overview uh, I'm not too much into pickup videos but let's see what I got so yeah first of all you see I have this is my Lord of Thunder and this is Winds of Thunder which is virtually the same game but this is the, my recently purchased Japanese version let me stop this uh, now, why would I um, purchase uh, CD-ROM? Um, I mean, the same game in Japanese version. Well, because it, because it is Japanese. Uh, the box looks a little bit similar, just cleaner on the Japanese version. Uh, the back of the Japanese version is nicer. You have nicer artwork. I mean, this game is epic. I want to have it like a legit Japanese copy, especially that this is not expensive to get. Now, even you can see another difference is the Japanese version has a beautiful CD art on it, while the American one is just lame. See, Lords of Thunder, Winds of Thunder. So it's a no-brainer for me. I love this game. Uh, I, I want to get it in Japanese version, and the game itself is similar. Just the uh, opening has some. Uh, uh, the Japanese version have uh, the story is being told and uh, the lady in the gun shop is talking also that's very slight differences but this is the, the Japanese version um, now some, some shmups and some, some, some stuff I'll, I'll leave the best for last the really really best for last um, just saying oh, where is this oh. 
Yeah, first of all, I just want to have a comment. Um, I recently showed you guys this game, Terra Cresta 2, which is, I got it for a good price, but this is like very priced and very rare. And uh, I, I read like so so reviews about this game, and uh, not much has been said about this game. So let me make it clear, and I'm a schmupper. This is on the top 5 U cards of the PC Engine. This is like a gem. This game is just unbelievable. I mean, the gameplay is perfect, the weapons are cool, the music is, is memorable. This game is off the hook. I mean, it's it's really a, a huge, huge, huge surprise. So, if you if you guys are PC Engine crazy like me, you guys gotta get this one. Anyway, um, Forgotten Worlds for Mega Drive. Um, cool game, you know, it's very cheap here in Japan, so I planned a long time to get it. Uh, Forgotten Worlds, a cool game, worth worth playing. Um, not great, but so so. And then a bunch of Super Famicom games. Um, worst is Gun Force. Uh, I know it's an arcade port. I, I like the artwork. I, I didn't play the arcade version, and I played like five minutes, and this game pretty much sucked. But I'm I'm gonna play it more. I mean, sometimes a lot of times I'm making mistakes, but uh, I, I I had bad impression. This game, cool artwork. Uh, it's supposed to be a legit arcade game, but it didn't deliver. I don't know. I'll try it again. Um, Super EDF. I played it when I was a kid. Uh, it's a cool game. I mean, it's it's another one for for the shmups on the Super Famicom. And it's I don't have too much to say about it because I, I forgot a little bit about this game. Uh, but I played it n lately. But I, I cannot make my mind yet if if it still hold hold the time. But it's cool. I mean, it's not bad at all. Uh, we have here oh a shit a shitty game I bought it was pennies but a, it also arcade port K King of Monsters I played it a long time ago when I had a Super Famicom in my high school days I, I forgot that, that it was crap the arcade game is cool but this version is 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 really disappointing uh, so too bad it's got it's got cool artwork but it just doesn't deliver and I should play it more maybe I don't know but kind of huge disappointment now wow. Bought this game for pennies, and this game, if you guys own a Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, whatever, you guys gotta get Super Swift. Oh, this game is so good. Um, again, it reminds a little bit of Granada on the Mega Drive. It's a type of uh, shooter that uh, you know you can turn around, but you you can lock your your cannon, your gun, any way you want. Um, it's great. I mean, this game is like so action-packed, so challenging. Uh, it costs pennies here in Japan, and it's fucking awesome. I can't believe I didn't have it until now. It's beautiful game, beautiful. Especially on the modded. Uh, now I got full RGB going on Super Famicom, and a gem. I I I got like now I've seen this game. I seen this game going on on eBay. Uh, more than two hundred dollars in your Euro European or American version, uh, less money for Japanese version. Now, if you guys, you should guys get it in the Japanese version. This game, okay, um, not only because of the price, because of the artwork also, but this is like one of the best game on the Super Famicom ever. And I, I never played it before I got it. I read the reviews about it. I just got it lately for a really good price, and it's Hagane, which means a steel in Japanese. Uh, wow. First of all, look, Hudson Soft, okay? Enough said. Just look at the artwork, beautiful artwork in the back. It's just unbelievable. And the game, oh my god. It's a combination of Contra, Ninja Gaiden, Shinobi. Uh, it's, it, it, this game is just unbelievable. Uh, you, your, your character has so many moves. He has many moves, uh, and uh, it, it, it reminds uh, it reminds a little bit of Alien Soldier, but not really. Um, it's 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 kind of like a synthesis of of games like Shinobi and Contra and all these games put together, and you get Hagane. What? Just this game's epic. Check it out. Footage of it in uh, in YouTube. Uh, you guys gotta play it. If you're on Super Famicom, this is like one of the best games. Better, it's better than con than Contra. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's one of the best games. Very difficult, but it's a good kind of difficult because you have a lot of weapons and abilities to deal with this difficult difficulty of this game. Uh, so yeah, so this is what I got to show for now. I got more stuff to show, but uh, I I I feel like sometimes my videos like I show too much without saying enough, but you know, 
I, I, I tried to hold off, but um, yeah, I got more stuff to show, uh, but, and there's stuff coming that, you know, I need to sort out, but this fix is, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, my next video now is gonna, I'm gonna open this and show you exactly how it was fixed, and uh, yeah, this is what I got to say, so thank you guys for watching, thank you for my, I have 80 subscribers now, so it's, I'm like, really honored. Yeah, so sorry again, no editing. I, I don't know how to edit. I spend my time modding and, you know, doing my thing. So my videos are kind of crappy. But thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, any technical questions, I'll be glad to answer. Do more technical videos. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Keep playing.